We refuse to accept the word disabled and we also di and differentially abled. They're just wired differently. And from their perspective, they think we are wired differently. So it's just a matter of differences. One in every six average globally has some form of dyslexia. We need to arm our regular ed teachers with the information that we've had for the last 40 years so that they can become more effective. Dyslexia or learning differently is a mental illness. That's a huge myth. For far too long, we keep looking at children and thinking there's something wrong with them. But are we ever looking at ourselves? Are we ever looking at the way that maybe the environment shapes the disability? If a child has problems in one language, he or she must have problems in a second language also. Only then should he or she get a diagnosis of dyslexia. The World Report on Disability says that about 15% of humanity has some sort of disability. You are asserting that the number is actually higher. Once you uh, give them the opportunity to explore what they are capable of, the sky is the limit. Listen to the children. To consider them as disabled is wrong. And I think we need to change that. And they should be provided the support that we should give as a civilized society. What is the role of young person like me in advancing the rights of children with disabilities? Love can be learned. But if you remain open-minded about this, I think you will learn how to love this process. When you become an advocate, passion is not enough. Passion plus skills make a very strong advocacy for children with disabilities. Any society is judged on the basis of how it treats its weakest members. If I can inspire educators to work with parents in a way that empowers them, then I've done a good job. <laughs> <laughs>